Here we have a 2010 Nissan Murano in grey. Car's got lots of spec on it, as you'll see throughout the video. It's also got a few age-related marks. If we start with the offside front uh, wing here, as you can see, we've got quite a good scuff at this front bumper. I'm um, going down to the bodywork and a few patches, and then quite a few light scratches as well to this corner. So it's going to require some work there. Um, it's also scuffed along here as well, and on the cap there. So quite a lot of scuff marks, as you can see. It's this offside a front bumper so do be aware of that and then quite a lot of stone chips that are going to require some touchings as well. We'll move around to the offside front tyre looking at around 4mm. Offside front alloy there's a few scuffs and marks the alloy itself as you can see no real signs of any curbing around the outside of the alloy just a few marks on the inside. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself paintwork does look very nice no dinks, dents or any damage at all to the offside of the vehicle Mirror, um, it's got a light scuff to it to there. Look on the driver's doors, a few minor touchings required as you can see. A couple of scratches around the handles which require a good polish. Apart from that though, it does appear to be in nice condition on the driver's door. Both the sills are in nice condition, you can see you've got your roof bars on top. No dents or any damage at all to the roof. Rear privacy glass on the rear windows. And again, nice condition with a few scratches on the, uh, the chrome handle there. Um, but again, very nice condition. No chips at all to the door edge. If it's the offside rear quarter, a uh, couple of stone chips around the arch, etc. Rear tyre looking at around 3 to 4 mil. And again, looking at the alloy, no signs of any curbing on the outside of the alloy, just a few marks on the interior. Move around to the rear of the vehicle. Doesn't appear to be any dinks, any dents, or any damage to the back of the boot or to the rear bumper, no signs of any damage there. There is quite a lot of light scratches though to the back. I don't know if you can see that, so it's definitely going to require a polish here. As you can see, all along the back here, you've got quite a lot of light scratches um, to the back, so do bear of that. Um, you have got a reversing camera, as you can see, and it's an electric boot as well. As you can see, works perfectly fine, no problems at all there. Parcel shelf in the vehicle just requires a good valet, and you've got little storage compartments there as well. Um, but as you can see, it obviously looks like they've had an animal, and there's no smell at all really in the car, so it just requires a good valet. Uh, and again, as you can see, closing the boot works perfectly fine with no issues at all there. Near side rear tyre, looking at around 3 to 4 mil. I look at the uh, alloy here, you can see a lot of uh, marks and some curbing there to the alloy, so it's going to require a refurb there. Um, looking down at the near side of the vehicle, again I can't see signs of any dinks, any dents or any damage at all. No chips on the rear door, a couple of light little scratches on both the doors here that require some polish, and no chips at all on the front door edge. Mirror's in nice condition as well. Looking at the front tyre here, you cut around 3 to 4 mil, so all four tyres got plenty of tread. And there's some corrosion to the alloy there, and also quite a few marks to the interior as well. So, again, might require a refurb. Quite a few light scratches on this front corner here, um, just require a good polish. And as you can see, it might be me, but that uh, looks slightly out of line. Uh, might need pushing back in, as you can see. Um, a few touchings required to the front bumper. On the near side, as you can see, all along there. Uh, no signs of any damage except from what I showed you earlier on the offside front corner. And again, just a couple of touches required to the bonnet. Now, I'll take a look inside the vehicle. As you can see, it does have a uh, full black leather interior. Not bad condition at all. Um, can't spot any signs of any damage. Uh, there's a bit of a scratch there on the middle seat, as you can see. Uh, but no signs of any rips or tears. Slight bit of wear in though to leather, I must admit. Um, but again, no signs of damage. But uh, if we just step inside the back, um, you can see you've got a set of headphones and a remote here, which controls the screen here. So if I just press that, I'm not sure if the, the car does have to be started, so I'll show you that a bit later. I do apologise about that. As you can see, there you've got heated seats in the back as well. If we just step inside the front. Driver's seat here, not bad condition at all. There's a bit of wearing here, as you can see. So a bit of wearing to the seat. All electric seats as well, but no signs of any damage there. 
and the same to the front passenger seat as well. Dashboard etc is very tidy and the steering wheel is in nice condition as well. Now if we step inside the car, you can see we've got two sets of keys. Uh, you can just hold them in there so it's got a holder for your keys. And uh, as you can see push start works perfectly fine, no issues at all there. Um, 70,156 miles on the clock and no symbols are putting on the dash there that we need to be aware of at all. Um, warning it is just low fuel. Multifunction steering wheel as you can see. Looking at the system here is touch screen. You've got your navigation there. Works perfectly fine. Also got cameras on the side of the car as well as the back. So plenty of technology on the vehicle. All functions perfectly fine. CD and radio. As you can hear, sounds great. Everything functions very well. Looking down here, you've also got air conditioning, light indicating there it's on and off. And no problems at all with any of the blowers. Looking down here, you've got your heated seats. Let's show you a better angle of that. So as you can see, again, it works perfectly fine. Automatic transmission. Now, if I just quickly show you in the back of the vehicle. Just show you this, uh, the screen. Press that button there, as you can see, folds down, and there you go, you've got uh, your DVD, etc. So again, functions perfectly fine. No problems at all playing, uh, doing that at all. So, nice little feature um, to the vehicle. Now, if we just go through all the paperwork with you. Look at the V5 for the vehicle. The cars had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. MOT certificate here, December 12, 2014, so plenty of MOT. And we have a full franchise service history just to top it off. As you can see, feel free to pause this any time to have a better look. 13, 24, 38, um, 19, sorry, and 62, so plenty of service history and all done at Nissan, which is great. There we go, it's the 2010 Nissan Murano. Lots of spec on the car. It is requiring a bit of work to the offside front bumper, a few polish and touch-ins, and the car would be looking very nice.